All right, for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at another Hexbug junk bot. And this time around, we are taking a look at Rev. Now, Rev is a, a pretty cool little junk bot here. He uses the same body as the uh, the Prowler figure, but I think this is a much better use of it than uh, than Prowler. It doesn't, you know, it definitely helps that uh, that I have this one actually has a version of this is not splitting at the seam, so it can actually, you know, keep the parts on. Uh, but I, I'm still not really sure what the body is supposed to be. Some kind of like carburetor or car part or something like that. Maybe that's where the name Rev comes from. And then I'm pretty sure his head is supposed to be a speedometer in some form because it's got the little uh, little dials there. It, 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 on first glance, it kind of looks like a pair of binoculars, but no, I think it's a speedometer. And then he's got a nice uh, broom head for his little mohawk here. That's pretty cool. And then some wheels and treads for his legs here, a little drill for one of his hands. And then the rest are, you know, just kind of generic machine parts, but still pretty cool. Uh, he does have this piece attached on the back. And, I, you know, at first when I put this guy together, I was like, what is that? Four, because I thought it was like telling me to like plug it into the back because if you look at the little instructions it just kind of says just plug it in and I thought it was saying to plug it into the motor thing and I was like why would you do that but then I realized that you're supposed to plug it into the bottom one as kind of a, a fake third leg because without that he does kind of have kind of a, a difficult time standing up you can definitely get it to to, to happen but he, he definitely does not take uh, much pressure to to get knocked down, especially since one of his uh, feet is a wheel there. So, you know, possible, but, you know, doesn't stay up for very long. So eh, it seems like kind of a lazy solution to, uh, <laughs> to, to just have that piece sticking out of the back to make a third leg. But at the same time, it really does make him a lot easier to stand. So, you know, can't really blame him. But yeah, here is his little instruction sheet with the... Uh, the layout of the parts there uh, in terms of articulation obviously the head can move around and then also rotate on this bit here the arms are kind of weird and lanky but they all have you know they both have a, a series of different elbow joints and in, in different places there never not going to look a little bit strange but you can get some uh some good range of movement there um the legs, I mean, this one does have a knee and this one does too. And then they're attached, obviously, at ball joints at the top here. This one is really tight, so you, I feel like I can barely move it around at all. But that's okay, because you're not really getting this guy in any super crazy poses, especially since he needs that, that like, fake third leg to stand. But pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, in terms of comparison, here he is with G1 Minibot, Core Class Transformer, and a bot bot just for some uh standard stuff there and then here he is with jack static uh, i should also mention that there is a factory collection version version of rev this is the original one this is the alley collection series one version but there is an updated version just like some other guys like uh jack static or surveillance um he does have a, a new version which i i don't have yet but you know I'm sure I'll get it at some point if I keep collecting these guys, uh, especially since there aren't like really that many new series two uh, junk bots. So like the odds of getting a uh, a like new version of an old character, that it I think it's like one in three or something like that. <laughs> uh, not quite as a uh, you know extensive of a of a series as series one but either way looks pretty cool to bring on the uh the modules here we can start off uh with the uh the vibrating module which again like you can only really plug it in if you have you know this piece off which if he couldn't stand while he's like you know just under normal circumstances, he's certainly not going to be able to stand while vibrating, and it doesn't really do much for him, except obviously uh, apparently make his head fall off. Uh, so, eh, you know, as usual, I only f I feel like the vibrating module only works in like very specific circumstances. Uh, the motor module, plug it in like that. It um, if you can get it lined up right, come on, it's supposed to just make his chest piece spin, but it can be kind of tricky to get that going. Let's see if I try to pull it out a little bit. There we go. So, you know, not overly dramatic, which is good because it, you know, to plug this in, oh my gosh, 
his arms are falling off all over the place. To <laughs> to plug this in, you have to unplug his third leg. So if he had any like crazy movement, he definitely would not be able to stand. But you can kind of get him to to stand while this is going. There we go. See, yeah, that works well enough. It's a it's a subtle thing, but you know. It, it's it's okay for it to be a little bit subtle. Not all of them have to be crazy drastic movements. And then the uh, the LED module, which I guess if you just plugged it into the motor piece, you could still have the, uh, the third leg attached since it doesn't require that you have both of them. But uh, he does have some ports in his body here. So you can pretty much just light up this little crack on his chest. That's pretty much all it does. Um, and then he also has ports on his, uh, on his head here. Oh, I'm missing one of the... Uh, there it is. So you can just plug it in like that. Switch it on, we'll turn off the lights. And that works pretty well. I definitely like being able to, to see the little speedometer dials, oops, <laughs> even if they're falling out, but all right, okay, well, you're done. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I think that works pretty well, all things considered. Again, you know, the body piece in particular, I don't think like has that many crazy options for the uh, for the LED piece since you're pretty much just seeing like what's in between the seams there. But the head, I think, lit up looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to say about the guy. Um, I really don't usually like this body at all for junk bots, so I'm, I'm surprised that it was able to... Uh, you know, give one that was actually good. Uh, the only thing that I think is slightly weird about him is the sort of weird fake third leg that like doesn't really, it sort of feels like a figure stand more than like an actual, you know, feature of the robot, but it does help him stand. So I can kind of get over it. Uh, in terms of uh, scrap, keep or edit, I think this one is a, a total keep for me. Uh, at first I was thinking edit and just taking off that, that piece, but when trying to display this guy on a shelf, that leg is very helpful <laughs> because otherwise, if you close the door in the wrong way, then he will fall over. So I, I think he's a keep. If you want to say edit, you can take off that piece. But if you want him to stand at all, he does kind of need it. And you don't even see it from some angle, so it's not too big a deal. But uh, yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, here we have... Hexbug Junk Bots Rev.